Yeah, today we're going to go through the top five lures for jigging lake trout. I got my active target running, so you guys are going to get to see all these fish's reactions. So stay tuned, you're not going to want to miss it. So coming in at number five, we got a Bondi. This one's a mini wobbler, but you can go up to some of the bigger sizes if you want. These baits are excel at just staying vertical when it's a little bit windier out and you want to stay right under the boat so you can see your lure. This is always a good choice. Normally it's also another good bait to uh, weed out some of those smaller fish and just focus in on some of the bigger bites. So number five on my list is a bonnie bait. that one on the bondi bait usually a bigger fish bait this is just the mini wobbler here something a little bit different a little bit bigger of a profile get down there and get some more fish off the bottom number four on my list is a uh, rattle bait this is a uh, frostbite tantrum it's got a nice rattle inside it definitely helps bring those fish in it's good vertical jigging bait it stays down if you get one of the heavier bigger version such as this so yeah this is number four on my list I'm chasing here again our beauty lake trout Got that frostbite tantrum just shoved right in there. I'll we'll grab the pliers here, get those hooks out and get them back down there. There you go, that one coming again. Another beauty on that tantrum there. We'll get these hooks out, get them back down there. I got one rising up to it. See if he wants to chase. Oh, yeah, here he comes. some fish on the tantrum. Get these hooks on, get them back in the water. Number three on my list is a hair jig. This is a Meathead XL by TC Moto. One of my favorites. Sometimes I'll tip it with a little piece of sucker belly. Great for finesse presentations, just, just tapping it off the bottom. It's uh, definitely a more finesse bait, but you can get some big fish doing this as well. So this is number three on my list is the hair jigs. That one was a little higher up in the water, calling there, just reeled up and sure enough, a bit. Got this guy on a hair jig, TC Moto, Meathead XO. Get this fish back in the water. I'm 
Played yo-yo with that one for a few minutes before he finally decided to commit for me. Another beauty on the Meathead XL. A little bit of hair jig action. Get this fish back in the water. Number two on my list is a paddle tail swim bait. This is a Berkeley Champ Swimmer. It's a great vertical bait as well as a casting bait for lake trout. But yeah, when you give that bait going upwards, that tail just starts kicking, creating vibration. A little bit of a smaller profile, but those lake trout I love to hone in on. I caught quite a few fish on this today. It's a great bait. I also like the fluke style baits. This is one of the Cabela's flukes. You can get them in a variety of colors, but it's just a little bit different of a presentation for more finessing fish, but they also chase up. But I always pair these up with a uh, big sky, three quarter ounce jig head. You can go a little bit smaller if it's calmer, but the heavier the better just to stay vertical. So yeah, that's number two on my list is soft plastic swim baits. There we go. I'm gonna chase this around a little bit, top to bottom. Finally got him to commit. Yeah, nice healthy cool lake lake trout there. We'll get this guy back in the water. So got a couple chasing us here. Oh, one's flying up right from the bottom here. There we go. That one hit just under the boat. That one's a little bit longer, but a lot skinnier than some of the other ones. Yeah, I'll get this guy back down there and see if we can get on a few more. Got that one right up top there. Let's drop back down after I missed him. healthy lake trout. Get this one back in the water. There we go, this one's chasing. There we go. Another nice fish. Another cold lake beauty. Got that one on a Berkeley Champ Swimmer swim bait paired with a uh, big sky jig head. Get this fish back down in the water.
Oh yeah, that's a fat one. Thirty and a half inches. That's an absolute heck of a lake trout. Pull get this fish back down on the water here. There we go. I was pulling some drag here. fish back down there. Another beauty there for Cold Lake. We'll get her back down on the water. I'm sure you guys know what number one on the list is by now, but yeah, it's the tube jig. There's a bunch of different varieties of tube jigs you can get. This one is a TC Moto Pool Dancer. It has a blade on the back. This blade def definitely helps out. It spins when you're reeling up. It creates a lot of vibrations. It gives those lights shows something to hone in on. Then you can have your normal dressed up tube jig. This is a jack-o'-lantern color also made by TC Moto all that tinsel in the back definitely helps give it a bigger profile and helps you connect on some bigger fishes these baits are really easy to work up and down and in and out uh, definitely my go-to bait here on cold lake so coming in at number one is a tube jig here you go got one chasing here oh so that one's flying oh yeah that was awesome that thing just freaking came and smoked it Hey, I got this fish on the jack-o'-lantern tube, GC Moto. Take the hooks out and get them back in the water. There you go. There you go, another one chased right off the bottom. Can't believe how many fish are in this school. Still floors me here. Absolutely incredible. It's going on a pretty good run here. See him on the active target, 30 feet down. It's coming up pretty easy here now. Another beautiful lake trout on the jack-o'-lantern tube here. Get this fish back down in the water. There we go.
let's go on to the bottom here. Still 30 feet down. Feels like it's got a little weight to it. Hopefully it's not just foul hooked. Nice fat one on the Wicked Walleye, a new green colored pole dancer from TC Moto. I'm gonna grab a quick measurement on this one. Looks pretty chunky. Twenty nine and three quarter inch fish, but we'll get them back in the water. New Wicked Walleye pole dancers putting some fish on the boat today again too. Get this fish back down in the water. Going chasing here. Another one's flying up. There you go. Another beauty on a wicked walleye tube here. Get this fish back down on the water. Another one on Wicked Walleye there. Pop this hook out, get him back down there. All right, so yeah, that's a wrap. There's my top five lake trout lures for jigging up some lake trout. You guys can use those to help you out next time on the water. If you guys like this content, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up. We'll catch you on the water next time.